Now the spike in cases affecting businesses now all across South Florida this morning. A second Walmart store remains closed temporarily in order to sanitize the building. The news coming as a surprise to shoppers who were recently at that store. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates has that story. I think these days they have to be uh, sanitized for our protection. And that's why Walmart says it made the decision to temporarily close its store at 3200 Northwest 79th Street. In a statement about the move, a company spokesperson wrote, several areas across the country have begun seeing a renewed increase in positive COVID-19 cases, and we want to assist health officials working against the pandemic. In support of this effort, we have chosen to temporarily close. Now shoppers who were in the store right before the shutdown are mixed on the move. It is terrible that they have to do that because it's tons of people inside shopping, some without masks, so hopefully everything will work out. If I knew that there was a, uh, they had an issue, I probably wouldn't go. But now it's too late, I already went there and, and got my stuff and I'm back and Hopefully nothing would happen. But statewide, a lot is happening. From December 24th through the 30th, there were more than 298,000 new COVID cases. That number almost doubled from the previous week of December 17th through the 23rd, when the new COVID case count was just about 125,000. And on New Year's Eve, the state added an additional 56,000 new cases. That number has many residents on high alert. Yeah, that's scary. It's almost like a movie or something. I don't know. That's something we should, you know, take seriously. It's, it's, it's for real, especially like the older people. As for the Walmart temporary closure, the company says the move will allow a third-party cleaning crew time to thoroughly sanitize and clean the building. It's good because for the customer, uh, it's safe when they open. Now we're told this thorough cleaning will include removing all the items from the shelves. As a result, the store will remain closed through January 2nd and reopen at 6 a.m. on January 3rd. So employees have time to restock the shelves. Bobeth Yates, CBS 4, this morning.